If you have a herniated disc, these are the steps that you need to take to live your life pain-free and be active. That's the goal. The goal is pain-free and active. Now this is, it's the same for a herniated disc, a bulging disc, a degenerated disc, stenosis. They all come from the disc, but we're gonna pretend like you have a herniated disc for this explanation. Now we have a program. We call it the two times five, which is actually the 10X program. And there's two bias and there's five phases. So that means there's two paths of exercises that you would take to go through the program depending on what your bias is. We discovered in about 2012 that when you move, the disc will move in certain positions that can make it worse and or make it better. We call that bias. Now, depending on what your bias is, there's gonna be a very specific set of exercises. But what happens with the disc it's like a jelly donut, it'll start to move out as you move. What we found is as you move, the disc will move. So what we know is there are two positions that really cause it to get better and to get worse. And it's this little tear in the annulus, which is the outer portion of the disc, which can move in and out. And the nucleus, as it moves in and out, will cause you a great deal of trouble. So we have to identify what your pattern is. There's a very specific set of questions that you can answer to help you identify what your patterns are. And then there are five phases. Knowing that when you bend, you can aggravate the discs. Phase one is healthy movement patterns. So we know that if you bend the wrong way, you're going to aggravate your disc. So we also know that being seated, in your posture is very important. Seated, standing, how you sleep, your physical activities throughout the day, all very, very, very important. So number one is identifying what your patterns are and what the best way to move is specific for your condition. Bending too long is gonna to start to aggravate the disc. So that's phase one. Phase two, we wanna create stability. Phase one, we're avoiding the activities. Phase two, we wanna make sure that the spine stays in a position without bending too much to aggravate that disc. So we start to create some stability. And part of the stability is working on your core muscles but starting with bracing. Bracing is a very fundamental exercise for your back. Seems like nothing's happening, but it's very, very, very important because what it does is it prevents this part of your spine from bending in positions. So you have to really work the core. We wanna make sure it's really solid. Solid core, good solid bracing. Bracing is like you're being hit in the stomach. Okay, you're not being hit, but you activate all those muscles. And then we activate the muscles of your core. And believe it or not, one of your latissimus dorsi is one of your muscles of your core. Activating the muscles, the goal, again, is to prevent the spine from moving into positions. Then the next phase is you have to create endurance in these muscles. It's all about building up your threshold, having the durability, having the resilience to make sure that when your muscles get fatigued, you don't go into a position that's going to aggravate them. So endurance really is designed to present, prevent the muscle fatigue because when the muscles fatigue, you start to bend and aggravate and overload the disc again. That is our goal, to prevent that from happening. And our goal is to make sure that you maintain a healthy, stable, upright spine. And it's not bending too much. It's designed to bend, but it shouldn't be doing all the bending. So you have to avoid that. And the way you do that is to make sure those muscles are rock solid. Okay, not hard to do, just takes effort. And we're gonna work on your posture, same thing. Okay, you wanna make sure you have the endurance to maintain the best position for your spine. That's phase three. Phase four is we're gonna start to restore the motion. Not here. We don't want motion here. We're gonna to start to restore the motion here. 
This is where all the activity takes place. All the activities throughout your life need to happen on your hips. What that means is all the things that you want to do, okay? Very little motion here. We want the motion here. That's why your glutes are the largest muscle on your body. It does all the work. So what do we need for that? We have to restore motion to the hip. We have to make sure that the hips are mobile, that these joints are moving in all the positions they need to move into. Mobile hips. You need to make sure they're strong bilaterally, both sides. Again, maintaining an upright spine. When the hips are not mobile, what it does is it causes the spine then to do the work and start to move. You don't want that. Lower spine needs stability. Hips need mobility. Thoracics need mobility. The key is to maintain the upright position without too much bending. And then we have to start to strengthen the hips. Create some mobility. Create some strength in the hips. Again, what it does is it prevents all the bending on the disc. Motion needs to take place in the hips, not in the spine. And by activating the glutes, we're going to work on the glute medius, the glute minimus, more importantly, the glute maximus. As a matter of fact, these two are very, very, very important for proper motion of the hips and the strength and the endurance. Because what happens is when you don't have the strength necessary to maintain proper posture, proper positions, proper activity, then you overload the disc. So this, the key to all this is strength. We have to make you stronger, have to eliminate the weakness. That is the goal. That is the objective. So healthy movement patterns, create the stability, the core, the bracing, then the endurance to make sure you can maintain it for extended periods of time. Start to restore the motion to the hips and activate the muscles to the hips. And then we have to create functional strength. What is functional strength? Functional strength is the muscles necessary to perform the activities that you want to perform. Again, we're working on hip mobility and strength and we want to make sure we do it bilateral so we're going to work the glute max we're going to work the glute med but we're also going to work the the erectors and the quadratus lumborum but it's all about functional movement we're going to push pull carry squat lunge but the ultimate goal is for you to be able to do the things that you want to do without aggravating the disc once it's healthy and you maintain the strength and the stability it doesn't come back this is one of our patients after he was better, he'd suffered with, I think, three or four bulging discs. Crested Butte, Colorado. Went hiking. I think his dog is there somewhere. Yeah, with his dog. Okay? But if you want to work in the garden, if you want to walk more or further without pain, it's all about the endurance. It's all about the motion. It's all about the stability. It's all about the strength. Golfers. Runners. Okay? functional exercises surfers well, we have all of a sudden we have a lot of surfers okay i'm in chicago we don't surf but this is the process you have the herniated disc motion patterns according to your bias are aggravating it we teach you proper motion habits then we start to create stability through the bracing and through breathing and through core exercises then we create the endurance we build on that we don't just reactivate them we get them where they have more they can last longer without any aggravation then we restore the hips the motion to the hips and quite frankly the shoulders as well and then we create the functional strength so if you have a herniated disc this is what you need to do you need to follow this path this is the pathway out We've done this thousands and thousands and I mean 26, 27,000 times. This is the process. This is the program that we've developed. It's very, 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 very effective. The key is once that disc is stable, it'll start to heal. The outer portion of the annulus will start to heal. The goal is the resilience and functional strength. And you can do whatever you want pain free it's liberating it's life-changing program we call it 10x 
okay? And we call it, originally we call it 10X because it was 10 times better. We did a study that was published and it was 10 times better than traditional physical therapy. Follow the path, follow the path. Now, if you have back pain, herniated disc, bulging disc, and you're not getting better, we have a program that'll help you get your life back. It's called 10X. So if you type in www.totalbackpainrelief.com slash 10X order, you can access, you can take a look at the program. You can live pain free. It's five steps, two categories. We call them bias, okay? Healthy movement, stability, endurance, motion, strength. You do that, you can live pain free for a lifetime. That's our goal. You can get better, check it out.